Toyota has been unequivocal about its stance against an all-electric future. While the Japanese company is poised to unveil some impressive EVs next year, it continues to explore alternative energy sources. Now, the Chinese state-owned manufacturer GAC Group, which holds a 50% stake owned by Toyota Motor Corporation, has successfully developed the world's maiden ammonia-powered engine designed for passenger vehicles. Join us as we delve into Toyota's pioneering ammonia engine and its potential implications for the future of EVs. Before delving into Toyota's revolutionary engine, let's elucidate what an ammonia engine entails and its significant importance. An ammonia engine is essentially a type of internal combustion engine that utilizes ammonia as its primary fuel source. Ammonia, consisting of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms, stands out due to its lack of carbon atoms, resulting in zero carbon dioxide emissions during combustion. This attribute positions ammonia engines as a promising solution to combat pollution in the foreseeable future. There exist several approaches to effectively operate ammonia engines. One such method involves breaking down ammonia into its constituent elements, hydrogen and nitrogen. The extracted hydrogen is then utilized in a fuel cell to produce electricity. Notably, a startup named Emoji showcased this technique with a John Deere tractor, branding it as the world's first ammonia-powered zero-emissions tractor. An alternative approach revolves around blending ammonia with other fuels like diesel, gas, or hydrogen before igniting them together. This mixture allows for easier ignition and sustained combustion. Man Energy Solutions has implemented this method in developing a two-stroke green ammonia engine specifically tailored for maritime use. A third method involves employing ammonia as the primary fuel source, which demands advanced technologies such as spark ignition, compression ignition, or homogeneous charge compression ignition, HCCI. Each method presents unique advantages and challenges, but collectively, they represent a significant stride toward harnessing ammonia as a viable and environmentally friendly fuel source for engines of various applications. The potential of ammonia, NH3, engines holds immense promise for the future of propulsion systems. One of the primary advantages of these engines lies in the exceptional energy density of ammonia. This term denotes the significant amount of energy that can be stored within a given volume of ammonia. This attribute is crucial for efficient energy storage and transportation, making ammonia engines particularly suitable for industries where high energy density is a critical factor. Sectors such as transportation and power generation, where effective energy storage and utilization are paramount, stand to benefit greatly from this technology. Another notable advantage stems from the widespread availability of ammonia. Its production can be sourced from various elements, most notably hydrogen and nitrogen, which are abundant constituents in the Earth's atmosphere. This accessibility further emphasizes the potential of ammonia engines as a sustainable energy solution with reduced reliance on finite resources. Recognizing these significant advantages, Toyota has taken substantial strides forward in this field. The company has forged a partnership with the Chinese state-owned manufacturer GAC, jointly unveiling a prototype engine that operates by combusting liquid ammonia. This achievement marks a groundbreaking step in advancing the development and implementation of ammonia-based propulsion systems. The company asserts that its two-liter, four-cylinder engine demonstrates the capability of producing 161 horsepower while significantly reducing carbon emissions by an impressive 90%. Such an achievement bears significant implications for the future landscape of automobile design and environmental conservation. However, the company openly acknowledged that the journey toward development was not devoid of challenges. Reports from Autocar indicate that the development team grappled with numerous issues, including managing the surge in combustion pressure and addressing excess nitrogen emissions. These formidable hurdles underscore the dedication and innovation invested in making this ammonia-powered engine a reality. One of the most notable accomplishments in this pursuit has been overcoming the inherent challenges associated with efficiently and swiftly burning ammonia. The long-standing difficulty in igniting ammonia compared to traditional fossil fuels had long hindered its widespread adoption as an alternative energy source. Nevertheless, the company's engineers successfully navigated this obstacle, 
setting the stage for ammonia's effective utilization within the passenger car industry. Chi Hong Zhang, an engineer at the GACR a and d Center, remarked, We've overcome the pain point of ammonia being difficult to burn quickly and put the fuel to use in the passenger car industry. He further highlighted the anticipated societal value and potential commercial applications awaiting this technology. The exploration of ammonia as a low-carbon fuel is gaining momentum across various sectors. However, it's imperative to address several challenges to unlock its full potential and ensure its effective utilization in various applications. Notably, ammonia presents ignition challenges compared to conventional fossil fuels. Its combustion process tends to be slower, adding complexity to its effective utilization as an alternative fuel source. Considering these inherent challenges associated with ammonia-powered engines, widespread adoption by automakers will necessitate further development and refinement. While immediate implementation might not be imminent, the potential for clean-burning combustion engines fueled by ammonia is a promising avenue. Notably, Toyota holds a significant stake in GAC, the company pioneering the innovative ammonia engine. Toyota's approach to emissions-free transportation is multifaceted, encompassing a blend of alternative fuels and conventional electric vehicles. This is evident through its participation in various motorsport endeavors, serving as a testing ground to evaluate this evolving technology. Given Toyota's forward-thinking approach and its investment in GAC, there's a plausible scenario where the company may consider incorporating ammonia-fueled power plants, particularly in markets like China, and potentially introduce them to other regions as the technology matures. It's crucial to note that approximately 80% of current ammonia production is utilized by the agricultural sector as fertilizer, highlighting the existing predominant use of ammonia beyond its potential application in automotive propulsion systems. Additionally, ammonia finds wide-ranging applications across industries such as explosives, dyes, plastics, and various chemicals. This diverse utility signifies its accessibility and potential as an alternative fuel source. While challenges persist, ongoing developments in ammonia engine technology continue. China, known for having the largest electric vehicle EV market globally, maintains robust demand for traditional combustion engine vehicles. However, signs are emerging that the Chinese government may consider banning the sale of internal combustion engine cars, aligning with policies akin to California's. The emergence of alternative fuels like hydrogen, ammonia, and synthetic fuels could potentially extend the lifespan of the combustion engine. These innovative fuel options might eventually become more cost-effective to produce than fully electric vehicles, presenting a compelling and eco-friendly choice for a broader range of consumers while also addressing convenience concerns. Toyota maintains a strong position in the Chinese market and has even developed EVs tailored specifically for this region. However, the company's strategic approach underscores its commitment to catering to diverse consumer preferences. Toyota's exploration of technologies like the ammonia-powered engine aligns with this comprehensive strategy, observing whether this technology progresses to commercial availability, and if so, its potential introduction on a global scale remains intriguing. Within the evolving automotive landscape in China, the potential integration of alternative fuel-powered vehicles, such as those utilizing ammonia, adds an exciting dimension to the ongoing transition towards more sustainable transportation options. It's imperative to acknowledge that while GAC and Toyota's advancements in ammonia engine technology are significant, there have been earlier strides in this field around a decade ago. The Korean Institute for Energy Research made noteworthy progress by creating a vehicle named AMVE, which utilized a blend comprising 70% ammonia and 30% gasoline, resulting in an impressive 70% reduction in carbon emissions. The AMVE project aimed to explore the potential of a fully ammonia-fueled engine, demonstrating the viability of this technology. Examining GAC's engine, utilizing liquid ammonia as a fuel, an important observation is the apparent production of carbon dioxide. This observation implies the incorporation of an additional fuel source within the engine's design. Such an arrangement could be pragmatic, considering ammonia's characteristics, such as its comparatively low flame propagation speed, 
which can pose challenges for engines operating at high RPMs or low loads. The hybrid approach adopted by GAC, combining ammonia with another fuel, may effectively address these limitations, potentially enhancing the engine's practicality and usability. While various projects have approached ammonia-fueled engines from different perspectives, they collectively underscore the ongoing efforts to harness the potential of ammonia as a cleaner and more sustainable fuel source for combustion engines. As this field continues to evolve, further innovations and optimizations are likely to contribute to realizing the goal of environmentally friendly transportation. What are your thoughts on this engine? We'd love to hear your opinions in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content.